Hi, my name is Basim Bamdiro. I'm a solutions architect at Amazon Web Services. And today I'll be showing you how to transfer data from ServiceNow to Amazon S3 using Amazon App Store. So let's get into it. Right here, I have the AWS Management Console. And if I type in App Flow here, I can go in to create a flow. And from here, I'll give you a flow name called App Flow service now and you can also give you a description do uh encryption enable encryption on your flow and also add uh, tags for this demo i'll just leave everything as default and then on the next page on the source name is asking me uh what source do i want to get the data from so here i'm going to click on service now and uh, clicking on connect would require me to put in a username a password and a subdomain id uh, so i will switch over to service now and try to create a username and a password and uh, also impose the subdomain id so going over to service now under here i will go to user administration so under users here, I would create an imaginary user called uh, Jane Doe. So this would be Jane.doe and the first name would be Jane. So while this is going on, I'm going to change the language to English and submit the uh, user request. So if I search here for Jendo, it should pop up. Let's see, Jen. So here, Jendo. And uh, AppFlow requires you or requires the ServiceNow user to have like three major roles assigned to it. So I'm going to assign those roles now. The first one is called the Web Service Admin Role. Uh, the second one is called the Admin Role itself. I would also add that to the user. And the last one is called uh, REST API Explorer. So having these three roles, we're enable AppFlow to be able to connect to ServiceNow and get the data. So I'm going to update this user on ServiceNow. Now that I have that user, I would go back to AppFlow and then input that username, which is Jane Doe, and then the password that I created and also the subdomain. So the subdomain is this dev ID that I created for this demo. And the connection name, I'm going to name this ServiceNow. So clicking on connect will allow AppFlow to authenticate with ServiceNow and uh, confirm that the username and password you put is correct. So I'm going to choose an object that I want to uh, move the data from. Uh, from this place, I'll be working with the incident object. So clicking on this drop down should show me a list of all the objects that I have. Uh, let's filter out with incident. Okay. So this and then destination right now, service now, uh, source only allows moving data into Redshift, S3, Salesforce, and Snowflake. For this one, I'll be using S3, and uh, the bucket details will be uh, the bucket's name where that will be the uh, destination for the data from service now so i've selected that bucket that i've created earlier there are different options here like um the data formats do you want to aggregate the data and different things uh also here down on the screen you have two options on to how you want to run uh the flow it's that on demand or on schedule where you can set a time for this demo i'll be running it on demand so running on demand um takes me into the next stage. Now, because I selected the incidents object from the previous page, uh, it's showing me all the available fields on that incident. So for this purpose, there are like so many fields, I'll just pick the relevant one. Just those like five to seven fields specifically for the purpose of this demo to see how we can uh, import those data into S3. So yeah, I will let's make let's make do with that. Maybe user input 
So and that should be it. And then I will do map fields directly, which means that the uh, field name on the source is going to be the same as the destination as well. There is an option for validation, which you can use to uh, validate data that is coming in and say, if this exists, uh, continue. If it doesn't exist, then uh, stop. And then you can also filter out all the data that is coming from uh, service now and this way you can say I only want to get data from this particular period or I only want to get data that is assigned to this line of business and those are just the options that you have. Uh, so this will give me a review page where I can see like the name of the flow, all the details that I've put in. So let's just create the flow and see. Perfect. So the flow is done. If I go back to the flows here, it will show me uh, as part of the list on under flows. So I'm going to run this flow manually by clicking run flow, and this should take uh, a couple of seconds. Let's just see. Now that our flow has uh, finished running, it actually showed me the output in S3 and then I can click on this link and it will take me to the S3 bucket where the output data is. So selecting this will take me to the file and then I can download this file to my objects and I'm going to name it service now. Service now the JSON and then we can view this in uh, Visual Studio. So now that this has been downloaded to my laptop, I'm going to open it with Visual, Visual Studio to uh, see what the data looks like. So this is it. I'm just going to try and format the document. And uh, this can give you like a better representation of what data was getting out of service now. So if you remember the fields that selected the color ID, the problem ID, resolved by the link and all of those things. So this is what it looks like getting that JSON uh, format or JSON file from service now.